I'm really hoping to um, produce narratives and create a collection of stories um, uh, from patients with cervical cancer in hopes that we can somehow um, disseminate those stories and help patients that have a new diagnosis of cervical cancer um, have, be, be able to have access to them so as a way of appealing and finding a sense of belonging of a really tough diagnosis. I would say even though this is not a translational study, I'm hoping that this uh, research will um, really open doors for um, gynecological oncology clinics to make sure that women have access to social workers and, and ways to, to find support outside of their direct treatment. Well, I'm hoping our, um, our work will show the importance of sharing stories and um, can hopefully make it so that um, patients will have access to other people that are just like them or going through similar situations and feel more empowered to speak about um, speak about their uh, cervical cancer diagnosis in a way that in the past it's, it's been like hard for patients to talk about it because of the stigma. So I'm hoping with this work that um, patients will feel empowered and inspired to share their stories and helping other women with their disease. I mean, I first want to thank the donors for um, putting research towards women's cancer. I mean, we, we know compared to other diseases out there, um, women's cancer doesn't get nearly enough funding. And so I first want to thank you for that. And um, I mean, I would say that every um, researcher that gets this grant is, is extremely um, humbled. And I know I'm humbled to be receiving this grant, and I'm hoping that um, for future researchers to come that we can continue um, working to provide like holistic care not just in the realm of translational research but really um, for like the patient's mind and soul.